Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you one of the latest perfumes on the market. This time comes from Bulgari, it's called Bulgari Men in Black Parfum. If you'd like to learn more about this new scent released recently from uh, Bulgari, Italy, this has been literally released on the 1st of March or something, even on the websites of Bulgari right now, it's not everywhere available as a men's perfume, then please stay tuned. Um, I will show it to you right now a bit. I will also add um, B-roll in a bit so then uh, you can see the perfume better this is a new scent released by bulgari in uh, 2024 this is a new flanker for the men in black uh, perfume from uh, bulgari this has been uh, recently launched in 24 like i said 2024 the fragrance family for this scent is spicy woody and the perfumer behind uh, this scent is alberto morillas the master perfumer alberto morillas the same as for the other men in black which is one of the most popular Bulgari perfumes for men. I will now spray it. As you can see, this is a new one, identically like uh, the older one. Here on the back, fun fact, you can see 79% volume of alcohol. You might know that also the original Leighton had 79% of uh, alcohol and it was regarded as being very powerful. This and the Eau de Parfum both have 79% alcohol volume on the back, which means that 21% are water and perfume oil. So let's see how this is. I will now spray. Black pepper, cardamom, cinnamon, melimi, wow. This is very, very nice, guys. So in top notes, you'll have cardamom, black pepper, cinnamon, and Philippine elemi, so elemi resin. In hard notes, iris and tuberose absolute. And in base notes, benzoin, cipriol, and patchouli. That this smells dark. This is a scent which, as you can see here, it doesn't have the golden uh, accent anymore, like, you know, the parfum. It's a black cap. So black cap and black bottle and it's exactly as the bottle suggests. Very dark, very mysterious, serious. So this is a serious perfume and quite understated for me. So this is a scent which a gentleman in a nice suit would wear and it's not someone who is loud, who wants all the attention, it's just, you know, that person who stays in the background, smells nice, is dressed nice, has great grooming, but doesn't like to be the center of attention. This is a perfume for me, which seems to be like that. So the Eau de Parfum, if I remember correctly, I had the um, New Zealand special edition and I gave it away because it wasn't my cup of tea, let's say. The Eau de Parfum, is sweeter is a scent which reminded me very much of spice bomb from victor and rolf it reminded me very much of hemingway from histoires de parfum well this gorgeous perfume here this bulgari man in black parfum is quite unique so for me this smells quite unique this doesn't pop right away and says oh wow it's a flanker of men in black it has a darkness it has the uh, seriousness into it which in the men uh, in black or the parfum was missing that was sweet that was playful that was the teenager of the men in black line this one here is adult this one here is 30 plus this one here is the serious gentleman what so, i noticed is that on this package here says 79 percent volume on the Eau de Parfum package says 79% alcohol volume. So this tells me that the concentration of alcohol inside is not different between Eau de Parfum and Parfum. So this leads me to believe that either the ratio between water and perfume oil in the par Parfum is uh, lower so less water more perfume oil or it's the same and it's a bit changed and it's more of a marketing gimmick than really uh, higher dose or higher concentration 
If it's only the name and not more perfume oil inside is a bit misleading and it's not something that I uh, appreciate, let's say, from Bulgari. But anyway, this one here, it's very manly. This is a perfume that gives me a very manly vibe. So if you wear this, you're a serious man, you're a man who knows what he wants. Yeah, with this black accent in here, it kind of shows that this is not a flashy bottle for someone who likes to be perceived very fast, to announce its present very presence very fast. And also it's how this perfume performs. It doesn't have a massive sillage. I was wearing this scent in the last days and my wife didn't really smell it uh, around me, but when she came closer, she could smell it. So it's quite an intimate scent, let's say, but very long lasting. This is a perfume which is made in Italy. It has a dark theme to it. The top is black and it's literally, um, a darker package and a darker version compared to the previous one and I like this because the the perfume uh, bottle is matching exactly the perfume character so now I will go to the conclusion what this scent reminds me of very very slightly of the old man in black the eau de parfum is a bit sweeter a bit playful parfum is not a playful scent uh, this uh, compared to the Eau de Parfum seems to be quite unique. So well done, master perfumer Morilias. This here is, uh, is a very nice, creative and daring release from Bulgari. So I'm impressed, to be honest. I thought it would just be a flanker, but to me, this is not just another flanker. What about longevity and sillage? I can tell you that is very good. After three, four sprays under the shirt in the morning, it stays with me the whole day. Like I said, it doesn't project a lot, but it's there. And after one shower, so I showered uh, this evening before recording this video, I could still smell it on my wrist. It's quite powerful and it's quite dense scent, let's say. So it might be that there is more perfume oil than it was in the Eau de Parfum, even if the alcohol percentage is the same. What about versatility? Well, the versatility for this scent is the same as the one for Dior Homme Parfum. It has a very nice woody, sweet base from the benzoin and with the spiciness of that cypriol a bit bitter, let's say. This is a quite a special scent. Wear this gorgeous dark scent with a white shirt or with a shirt, any shirt, at special events or in the evening, I would say. So this doesn't uh, give me the impression of a party scent or something very loud that you like to spray and go out with your friends. This is something more suitable for special events, business events, office wear, a date, something more with a meaning rather than just going out for a drink. So. That's what this scent inspires me. What about seasons? This will shine in the colder seasons in the same way as the Eau de Parfum was doing. Dressed up. Definitely uh, this would go very well with the shirt, I think. And as a score, I will give this gorgeous uh, Bulgari a 9 out of 10. This is a dark and daring scent from Bulgari, from master perfumer Morilias. And I am glad to see that they have taken a creative path. And this is not just a copy paste from the last one. So I like it. And as you can see, I have a bottle. So this should tell you something because I have a small collection and I don't like to hoard on perfumes just to have who knows how many. So this I purchased. This is my bottle. I got it from Spain. And uh, now I make a review for you. And I'm happy to say that I'm impressed by this scent and I like it very much. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment below what do you think about this Parfum from uh, Bulgari. If you have high expectations from it or you think it's just a flanker. And if you tried it, please let me know if you have the same perception as I have or it is just a copy paste and my nose is tired and I perceive something else. Thank you very much for watching. Stay healthy. See you soon. Bye guys.